குறிஞ்சி சீனியர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல் சிபிஎஸ்இ நாமக்கல் சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் ரிசல்ட் ப்ரொடியூசிங் ஸ்கூல் இன் ஸ்டேட் எவ்ரி இயர் அட்மினிஸ்டர்ட் பை த போர்ட் ஆஃப் டிரெக்டர்ஸ் வித் ஓவர் 35 இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இன் தி டீச்சிங் ஃபீல்ட் ஸ்பெஷல் அட்டென்ஷன் ஆன் ஆர்ட் கிராஃப்ட் மியூசிக் டான்ஸ் சிலம்பம் யோகா ஸ்கேட்டிங் அண்ட் கராத்தே ஃபோக்கஸ் ஆன் ஹிந்தி சபா அண்ட் ஸ்பெல் பி ஒலிம்பியாட் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் ஸ்மார்ட் கிளாஸ் ஃபார் எஃபெக்டிவ் அண்ட் இனோவேட்டிவ் லேர்னிங் அண்ட் வெல் ஃபர்னிஷ்ட் லைப்ரரி சாலிட்டரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் ஆன் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் கேம்ஸ் இன் ஸ்டேட் அண்ட் நேஷனல் லெவல் வாட்ஸ் அப் facilities to know activities of students and school inside the campus neat jee iit coaching experts from rajasthan and andhra pradesh along with our effective teachers admission registration for classes lkg2 plus 2 kurunji educational institution kaveti patti namakkal admission in progress cbse kg2 12th contact 9025895176 metric 6212th contact 9344567484 for online admission log on to www.kurunjischoolnkl.in good evening students this video i would like to explain about a structure of a muscle proteins the previous video sir we started about muscular system of a human body here our muscular system of human body play an important role in the locomotion and the movement that only chapter name okay in the in that chapter we have started about uh, learning a uh, muscular system and then skeletal system later we will start about a uh, skeletal system in the muscular system first uh, skeletal muscle structure we st- seen ultra structure also we seen the diagrammatic representation of the skeletal muscle uh, the inside ultra structure inside uh, what are the structures are there one more time i will revise it and then muscle contraction time muscle proteins are there two important proteins one is a actin protein another one is a myosin protein these two protein structure how it play an important role in the muscle contraction we want to know so this video regarding structural protein of muscles let me start today video set see nanna first here by seeing this diagram you get some idea because of a previously also i drawn this one when you take out any one muscle one muscle or one meat from the bone onwards nothing but for example already previously i said na chicken kebab piece you are all are eat that is skeletal muscle only so that is skeletal muscle made up of the fascicles fascicles inside muscle fibers are there muscle fibers ke bolla myofibrils are there this is the thing now that myofibril structure alternatively stripes are there light and dark bands remember na that alternative stripes done by created by the presence of the thin and thick filaments see inga parunga na this is if you take this is the muscle myofibril this is a light filament light i band and then this is the dark band this is the i band and the dark band that the i band also called as a isotropic band that is the indication a band also called as an isotropic band i band we can able to call basing on their which protein are present actin protein is present and a band contains a myosin protein so that's why we can able to call actin filament and then myosin filament and then here the appearance of the physical appearance this is the light nature light means uh, not much darkness so that's why this band is a light band this is the dark band okay so the arrangement of the light and dark bands on the myosin sorry myofibril filament myofibril filament that appearance give to the stripes of a muscle so that's why skeletal muscle we call as a striated muscle striated muscle somewhere uh, in the some corner i wrote something see what it is mean uh, muscle contraction time uh, muscle contraction time uh, signals are signals are given by the central nervous system okay that uh, central nervous system onwards uh, the signals are traveled by the neurons uh, neurons will reach the this co- this place now when you take muscle muscle fiber muscle fibers are covered by the one plasma membrane that plasma membrane we called as a sarcolemma basically in the normal terminology it is a plasma lemma in the here we are using the sarcolemma sarco is indicates a muscle so on the surface of the sarcolemma these neurons are releasing the 
signals in the form of the chemical substances okay that chemical substances only neurotransmitters okay then that neurotransmitters released are given signals want to distributed into the total filament how it will theriyamanna that the distribution of the signals in the sarcolemma a particular regular places regular places it will be invaginated inside of muscle fiber invaginated means deep depression is there deep depression here this is a sarcolemma the sarcolemma is going to inwards of the muscle fiber in regular places in which place it is going the showing the depression sir in which place jet line is there now my question is which place jet line is there okay that jet line is located on the middle of the eye band okay but m line is located in the middle of the dark band a band correct na so which places of the jet lines are there jet that jet lines these these sarcolemma will be going to depression by that depression here one important structure will be develop by the going inside it will be make the one tube one tube that a tube we call as a t tube it is a appearance just like a t letter see this z line is a t letter t this line is a horizontal this is a pa parallel line now these two lines we similar to the t either side of the t line the sac like structures are there that is uh, additional structures of uh, endoplasmic reticulum here uh, muscle endoplasmic reticulum we called as a sarcoplasmic reticulum kadana that sarcoplasmic reticulum that sarcoplasmic reticulum produce the a sac like structures that we call as cisternes two cisternes are there both sides of the t tube two cisternes are there i mean each each either side one one okay so two cisternes with one t tube it form the a important functional or signal distributed structure that is a triad system triad means a three three things combinedly to form the one system that triad system play an important role distribution of the signals to total myosin filament sorry not myosin muscle filament okay muscle fiber nothing but so triad system means three things you should be remember maybe some statement based questions nanna here two cisternes with a t tube that a t tube where it is present it is origin from are producing are located sorry it is located at the jet lines of the sarcomere or muscle fiber now that jet lines are located in the middle of the i band or actin filament okay so this is a i band this is a a band this is a i band so exaggerated structure ultra structure for understanding i had drawn that uh, sarcomere one sarcomere structure this is jet line this is also jet line this is jet line this is also jet line one jet line to another jet line distance we called as a sarcomere okay now that sarcomere contains the what are the parts uh, two parts it is contains basically three parts but uh, two parts are similar parts that is a uh, actin part that to half actin part one side of the sarcomere half actin filament another side also half actin filament or nothing but half i band so each side of uh, these muscle fiber or sarcomere it contains the half i bands and the middle position it contains a dark band that dark band also not at fully dark the total dark band not at exhibit the darkness the adjacent side of the dark band only more darker than the middle so which part of the dark band not exposing not exhibit the more, more darker such a part we call the h zone so that how you um, how to de, de, distinguish means uh, in the edge places uh, of the myosin or uh, dark band it is a more thicker why that place is a more thicker mean this part is a overlapping of the both actin and myosin so which part of the dark band is combining with the actin filament with myosin filament such a part is appearance is a more darker but middle of that myosin filament it is a 
light nature. So that light nature containing dark band place we call as a H zone. That H zone middle position M line is there. Okay. Now continuation time I will say in the myosin filament is formed by the meromyosins. That meromyosins everything attached with the M. Now this is the time to say one important thing. When the muscle contraction time, when the muscle contraction time, these dark band size will not be show anything changes. Dark band length will not show anything changes. Oftenly, both sides of I bands are come closerly and going towards of in between of I uh, dark band. So reduce are their size. So muscle contraction time. I band length will be reduced, but A band length will not be reduced. Relaxation time, I bands will come away from that, uh, move on from the myosin filament. So, that is a reason for muscle contraction time. The, our, we can able to stretch our muscle and we can able to contract our muscles. Contraction time, these actin filaments are moved towards of M line. So, that is a one more reason when the contraction time these muscles will be go on in between of the myosin filament. So, H zone will be disappear. H zone will be disappear. H zone will be disappear. So, that uh, H zone by the uh, contraction time. Okay. That is a thing. Now. Right. Now, this is a part myosin myosin part this is a part is actin part now it is a general diagram now individual proteins structural proteins of the muscle we want to know so thin filament what protein it is made up of and a thick filament what it is suddenly i used a new words thin and thick here i band or actin band we call as a thin and a dark band we call as a thick let me come to the thick and thin filaments structures. First, uh, I kept the heading thin filament. That thin filament made up of three important proteins. One is a actin, second one is a tropomyosin and a troponin. These are the components and the component means a structural components in the thin filament. Okay. Now, a part of that actin tropomyosin and troponin these are two combinedly called as a regulatory proteins regulatory proteins why we call as a these tropomyosin and troponin the regulatory proteins reason the reason when i am explaining that this diagram i will you will get clarity now come to the structural understanding so in the in the diagram paranganana in this diagram some of the circles a ribbon like circles are there highly coiled ribbon like not uh, balls nana think about balls see the balls these balls one two three like so these balls are everything is a one one globulin one globulin bind with another globulin to form the a chain that is we call as a f actin chain f actin chain this side also one effect in chain totally how many effect in chains are there two effect in chains are there that effect in chain individually we, we can say f filament actin filament f actin filament so here these two chains these two chains tightly coiled just like a dna just like a dna now on the these effect in chains one ribbon like structure thread will be go on move on on the surface of the effect in chains that uh, line here i drawn by the some of the small small uh, zigzag line that zigzag line uh, indicates tropomyosin what is the significant role in the tropomyosin basically here these circles are there now these globulins effect in globulins are there now that effect in globulins are having the a significant uh, or functional binding sites myosins will bind with uh, these actin myosin binding with uh, these actin that actin uh, binding time they need something binding location 
basically in the normal time that binding places binding sites are covered with uh, these uh, tropomyosin uh, that means relaxation time of the muscle uh, these uh, tropomyosin cover the binding site of actin okay then uh, come uh, how uh, one more point uh, the length of the tropomyosin equal to the effectin chains how much length effectin chains are there that much of length uh, these tropomyosins also still continue to cover that uh, binding sites of uh, actin then uh, just focus pouring on a pointer place this is one place this is one place this one place uh, three places i i placed this one pointer places uh, that three places are extra structures that extra protein structures uh, are uh, located not by continuation a regular interval places uh, some protein structures are there that protein structures we call as a troponin troponin these are uh, troponin having the three subunits one is tnc another one is the tnt another one is the tni here also diagrammatic representation also i mentioned the three balls okay these three balls one ball is a uh, tnc we, we can uh, denoted the name like that tnt and then uh, tni what is tnc sir tn indicate the troponin okay what about c c indicates the calcium binding subunit so this is the subunit of the troponin giving the chance to calcium ion will be binding so that calcium ion binding only will be giving the chance for muscle contraction without the calcium ion involvement muscle should not be show binding okay so reason i will say so this is the calcium ion binding uh, subunit of the troponin along with that uh, tnt tropomyosin binding tropomyosin sub binding subunit uh, this ball is indicate the tnt t indicates the uh, tropomyosin so tn indicates the uh, troponin again that uh, t indicates the uh, tropomyosin so troponin binding with the uh, tropomyosin then another thing tni i band it is uh, attaching with the uh, i band okay so these three subunits of troponin is a role of the muscle contraction reason ipu paarunga nanu when that uh, first time i said na in the beginning of this video neurons are carrying motor neurons are carrying the nerve signal correct na that nerve signal is giving to the sarcolemma sarcolemma is receiving that information through the triad system that signals are giving to the total muscle that muscle ki inside actin filament is there na now here cisternes are there na in the triad system that cisternes onwards uh, calcium ions will release that calcium ions go and bind with the, these troponin subunit what uh, tnc so when the tnc subunit of the troponin binded by the calcium ion it stimulate the tropomyosin tropomyosin up to that uh, tropomyosin what it did uh, it's cover the active sites of uh, effectin chain so when that uh, tnc is binded by the calcium ion that information it will give to the tropomyosin tropomyosin move away from that active sites so active sites will be exposed so when the active sites are exposing those and all ready to bind with the myosin so now come to the first statement here thin filament is made up of the actin and then tropomyosin and troponin the combination of the troponin and tropomyosin we call the regulatory proteins why we call the regulatory proteins muscle contraction time these and the tropomyosins are play an important role okay without these it regulation of the muscle contraction will not be happen sir so that's why based on their work only we kept the name as a regulatory proteins okay nana one more time paranga here thin f thin filament thin filament is nothing but a i band i band composing of the three structures one is actin tropomyosin and troponin tropomyosin troponin both are combinedly we call the regulatory protein now actin having the two effectin chains that effectin chains are made up of the globular glo uh, globular protein that globular proteins are two protein chains are there along with the globular protein a thread like structures move on that uh, effectin chains to cover that uh, binding sites of uh, myosin that uh, structure we call as a tropomyosin in the regular interval places of the the acti uh, actin filament uh, 
regulatory protein structures are there that is a troponin. That a troponin contains the three subunits one is a TNC, another one is a TNT, another one is a TNI. The basing on the names are given denoted by the what binding places they are. TNC indicates a calcium ion binding site, TNT indicates a tropomyosin binding site and TNI indicates a actin binding site subunit ok then that is about a thin filament and then a thick filament thick filament indicates the dark dark band this thick filament what protein it is there that protein we call the motor protein why we given the name of the motor protein reason is required. if anything is indicate the motor it is a result ok that means uh, in the 10th standard time you studied uh, sensory neurons uh, and motor neurons. Uh. Sensory neurons are receiving the stimulations uh, from the external and internal environment and giving the information to the brain. Brain analyzing that and brain will be giving to uh, in, uh, analyzing matter to some other organs. Uh, that uh, brain given signals are carrying by the motor. That, so that is the result only now. So like here uh, motor proteins are indicates uh, is a resulting function. What are that resulting function? Why we kept the name? Uh, explanation and time I will tell. See here, uh, thin filament. Uh, it is a place of the converting of the chemical energy into the mechanical energy. In our body, we have the chemical energy in the form of uh, ATP producing from the mitochondria. Sir. Correct only now. Now that mitochondria is producing ATP, we want to use our functions. Sir. Internally some chemical reactions are going on for that one we should not show anything movement. But uh, when we are physically show something function means uh, that we should be show something movement hand movement or locomotion or whatever it is. Whatever it is our body requires energy by the muscle con for the purpose of the muscle contraction. So these chemical energy what we have the in the inside of the in the cells uh, that chemical energy is uh, converted to the mechanical energy that means. Uh, uh, function will be happen I mean one work will be completed on the time of course according to the thermodynamics law it is a law of heat will be released something work happen means something energy will be lose out in the form of the temperature ok. So here also mechanical energy happen time temperature will be produced so that is the reason our body maintains the homo, uh, homothermic we, we can able to maintain our body temperature in the constant. Okay, 37 degrees centigrade. So, that is the mechanical energy. So, this is the reason of uh, we are called, called thick filament is a motor protein. So, which protein is playing important role in the chemical energy is converted into the mechanical energy. Such a proteins we call as a motor and then function a to nothing but. Okay, then uh, here when you understand about the structure of that uh, myosin these myosin protein myosin protein is a polymer protein polymer means a same type of subunits repeatedly combined to each other to form the one complex structure that is called polymeric ok this uh, polymeric uh, protein is a meromyosin that uh, number of meromyosin basically thick filament what we given the name uh, myosin kadanana but that myosin again having the some of the subunits that subunits are meromyosins. These meromyosins like this if you see in these structures you can able to remember it is a seems like a hockey stick and golf stick. When you see hockey stick base that has something width place wider place for using for throw out the ball push up the ball and then the base handling place is something light. Okay, lightweight and then uh, convenient to the hold like that type of structure. See, see here uh, these meromyosins are uh, two parts are there one is a tail part another one is a head part. Okay, tail part and head part these uh, head part and tail part connected with uh, just like a small junction that is a neck or we call as a short arm how our neck is connecting head with the uh, thoracic part. Uh, like this, these meromyosin head part is connecting with the tail with a short arm or neck. Okay. So, this is the head part. This head part comparing the tail part having the heavy weight, heavy weight. Basing on their weight, molecular weight of the meromyosin, 
we given the, we kept the name heavy miromyosin part heavy miromyosin okay now that a head part or heavy miromyosin part having the two binding places two binding places one is actin binding place actin binding place uh, i didn't write here this is the active binding sites okay nana sorry see uh, now i wrote here this is the darked places it is a place of the binding of the atp so that's why atp binding site opposite way opposite side the actin binding site now a little thinking of uh, these actin binding site what is the use here already i said about a thin filament this thin filament having the binding sites actin binding sites na here also i wrote bind actin binding sites so in the miromyosin this part to touch with the actin to create the binding okay bind to each other so which part of the head or heavy miromyosin place to bind with the, the significant binding sites and active sites nothing but active sites we call it as active sites also so active sites these are, it will be bind together to at the time of the muscle contraction okay so so miromyosin that miromyosin two parts one is a head part head part is a heavy weight that heavy weight we call heavy miromyosin that head part having the two regions one is a atp binding site another one is the actin binding sites now come to the tail part tail part weight is a very less weight so that's why we given the light miromyosin basing on their weightage molecular weight this part more molecular weight so that's why heavy this is a very light weight light miromyosin now this this is the place of conversion of the atp change into the chemical energy so that's why these miromyosin proteins are myosin proteins we kept the name as a motor proteins motor proteins okay see the polymeric protein in the polymeric protein miromyosin several miromyosins is hold it together what i am saying nana thin filament sorry thick filament we call as a motor protein that uh, motor pro why we kept the name it is a place of conversion of uh, atp into the mechanical energy that also completed here uh, the lower part of the miromyosin is a tail part that the tail part uh, uh, just like uh, uh, dna it is also helical but uh, these uh, hockey stick uh, head portions are elevated come away from the these uh, lateral lines these parts are binding with the myosin okay which part is uh, giving the chance to bind with the actin filament these two are bind with the actin filaments i mean together myosin filament bind with the actin filament to form the cross bridge a muscle contraction time i will explain about the cross bridge so when that uh, myosin is bind with the actin it appearance is just like a uh, junctional point in between of the actin and the myosin miromyosin so that structures we called as a, these structures we called as a cross bridge okay this is about a, this is about a structural contraction structural proteins of contractive proteins structure of contractive proteins nanda okay what you understand triad system you understand and then uh, uh, sarcomere structure inside of the sarcomere what are the proteins are play an important role in the muscle muscle contraction thin protein thin filament and thick filaments let uh, next uh, class uh, i will be explain about uh, muscle contraction mechanism let me wait for muscle contraction